And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love going to throw right away. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Love now. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. So the same tandem connecting on back-to-back -back throws to start the game. And maybe throwing the scouting report off just a little bit. That's not exactly what they think is going to be their number one receiver, but he's producing already early in this game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far, it's second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. On second down, Love once more. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Chandler Jones, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Love looking to throw it. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. There'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They'll have Jimmy G calling the shots. Grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago, went to Eastern Illinois. Jimmy Garoppolo. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason.
First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. First and ten, Love. That'll be caught right side by Reed. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing, Love. He's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, that's always a good place to throw it, just because he's one of the biggest targets, not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what his offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Again, it's Jones. And a good job by the Raider defense yet again as they drop him for a second straight loss. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. And our statistician, Ben Ramsar, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss only in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got it detailed perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is, can someone please block him? Come up with a scheme, come up with something. Make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. He's going to look deep down the field. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Pat O'Donnell on now to punt it away.
So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and six, just inside the 30. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Looking deep for Adams. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. It's taken to the 26. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And out will come the offense as they take over. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And, partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second... Run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw now. Here's Love. Flushed it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. call on a nickel set for third down. Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Let's do it. 
We're scoreless after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. Garoppolo. That's to a man who's used to catching passes in the green and gold, Devontae Adams. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And finding the tight end, Hooper. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Garoppolo looks to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Adams. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. From the 36, Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the out route. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Now Garoppolo. Nowhere to turn here and he's going to go down. 
Back at about the 37-yard line. Devontae Wyatt credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense. And right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. They'll get four back there on the run, but now they're looking up at a third and 12 situation. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should be intercepted. Defense, they came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the left hash, it's an even 50 yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good, and the Raiders jump out to a 3 0 advantage. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Fields it right around the goal line. Oh, good return up past the 30. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 score line as they begin with a first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Keep on the ground with Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, it's Jones. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 40-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a pickup of six. 
Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3-0 our score. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get five out of the scramble, hits second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. From the 29, Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down, going to the air with Love. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. It sort of looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Love. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. To the air again, Love. This will be caught just inside the ten. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Now Love. His throw incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Love from the gun. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Fourth down and no hesitation from Matt LaFleur as he sends out the field goal unit. And his kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. Field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. Amir Abdullah going to take it out of the end zone. 
And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. To throw is Garoppolo. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Garoppolo now. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. first down and the Packers give him nowhere to go and they bring him down now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play so after the sack here second and 14 Play action, Garoppolo to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So we've reached halftime in a low scoring affair. Just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats for the Packers in that first half. And there's not much to speak of in terms of passing efficiency, but in a tie game, they know a few tweaks could make a big difference going forward. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. Take it in at the three. 
And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goalposts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. On first down, Garoppolo. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Great stop by Devontae Wyatt, breaking through the line and stopping him cold. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. There's Garoppolo to throw. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. turn on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review so to speak because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. And now it's third down at inches. That now brings up a very interesting, identical situation on third down. Yeah, people couldn't see us on camera, but I love how you motioned to me, like, throw the ball. This is a great shot to take it. Second and short. Maybe took a big shot downfield. Instead, they ran it. Didn't work out for them very well. They should have listened to you, partner being chased out left and oh that's going to wind up incomplete nearly their first pick of the game but it does bring up fourth down 
pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying, I'm open, but maybe he didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive backs' hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over-anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. the ground it's Jacobs to start the drive and he'll manage to pick up about four it's second down now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter yeah but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game I would say keep feeding the horse and I believe he'll eventually reward them especially as we get deeper in the game following the pickup of four here's second and six to throw it's Garoppolo and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Looking deep for Adams. He's got a man complete. It's a big play there for Vegas. 45 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that's incomplete. They tried to make something happen, but that one came up incomplete and really wasn't a good-looking throw. Yeah, maybe even go as far as to call that a little ill-advised. Yeah, I would say so. I think that's the right phrase for it. Definitely ill-advised. Just wonder about his mechanics right now, you know, and that's the tough part. You do so much stuff in practice to make it repetitive, but it has to repeat under pressure, whether it's pressure from the defense or just the pressure of playing the game. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now a play fake, Garoppolo. And this one hauled in, again it's Hooper. It'll be a loss of two on the play, and that's gonna bring up a fourth down. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. On fourth down, here's Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. The kick by Carlson is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's six to three. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that. But let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive.
After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Taking it at about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That play blown up on a really nice effort by Jerry Tillery. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Throwing. Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And despite a little sizzle on the move, he still tackled shy of the 20. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, Love. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. The Raiders now set to get the football back. Now they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that, but the rushing game almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Garoppolo looks to throw. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. There he goes right side. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them.
Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. Now Garoppolo to try again after the pick six. Caught out right by Renfro. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? A good gain on first, has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now Garoppolo. Back to Renfro again, complete. Seven yards there and a first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Garoppolo's throw into the hands of Hooper. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And his pass incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. To the sideline, and that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. 15 yards there on the catch and run. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. 
Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Second down, Jacobs once more. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. third down now those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points Garoppolo the left side throw complete to Adams and they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13 yard line yeah, that's good for a gain of six and that'll bring up fourth down one hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Now Garoppolo, gotta have this one. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers from 13 yards out. And the Raiders have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Nixon now from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Love now. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. Max 
Crosby, his second sack of the night. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. On the delay, Jones. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Brown with a stick skills. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. What well, may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Play action. Garoppolo. Got a man and he hits him in stride. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down, Jacobs. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. To throw is Garoppolo. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to swell the lead to six. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a three-point game. Maybe an important fourth quarter miss as this stays a three-point game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. 
we could have some free football, couldn't we? So here's Love and the Packers. Down 13-10, a minute 46 to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Touchdown, Packers. Christian Watson, 55 yards. And the Packers use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. They do tack on the extra point as well, and that will make this a four-point game. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. Here's Abdullah from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He's at the 40. The 20. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Raiders. They had just lost the lead. That deficit sure didn't take long to erase. They return the ensuing kickoff for a touchdown. Love the thunderbolt that just came out of that one that puts them in the end zone and back in the lead. Your only question, your defense just gave up a score that put you behind. But that score you just added on the board will energize them, or do they have to go back out there and they're a tired unit? We'll soon see. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And now off to the races down the right side. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. 
And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. Taken in at the three. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Now it's the Raiders' turn. Trailing by four. A minute 12 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Garoppolo. Pass caught by Hooper. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Garoppolo to throw. And this is caught the sideline on the feet in they are what a catch 33 yards that time that's a great job of working the sideline right there i love how he tracked the football the whole way just reached up and pulled it in had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Garoppolo. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. He's back to throw. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. He'll look to throw. And it's complete to Adams. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. to throw that's going to be caught at the 10 yard line now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock only way to get the lead here of course with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Back to throw. 
And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Defensively now, one more play to stop. What are they looking for? You want to take away their number one running option that you've scouted and take away their number one receiver and see if someone else can beat you. For the lead, here's third and goal. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Boy, well, backs up against the wall, Charles, and they come through with a phenomenal drive to take the lead in the final moments. Championship effort right there. Marching almost the length of the field, coming through on their final opportunity to earn the win. I think they'll remember this one for a long time, and the fans will too. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends with what most likely will be the game-winning touchdown. kick it away is Carlson from the six well this one probably was fun down the very end they got the points late right before the whistle then the ensuing kickoff they were hoping for magic on the other side but couldn't get that spot fun if you win and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it that magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through.